Hello everyone, let's have ourselves a chat. This chat will be a bit more unpleasant than usual, but it needs to be. We streamed Payday 3 on our channel for two and a half hours today. Genuinely, no hyperbole, the first thing we discussed when the stream went offline was the credibility of our channel. See, we did that whole 40 minute video back in June where we discussed everything we learned about Payday 3 after playing it for a weekend. We had fun, we were excited, and we recommended the game. To put it as simply as possible, what we played on stream today does not reflect that recommendation or that excitement. The build we played in June was a month old at that time. I'm recording this on August 2nd. The beta build released to the public today was a significant step down. The performance was noticeably worse. Last time, we touted the performance, mentioning that with hardware three or four years old, we were still holding 80 FPS on max settings. Today, we had to drop down to medium or even low settings, and even then we were still fluctuating between 60 and 45. The menus were sometimes unusable. Over half of the key rebind menu was just missing text string. This menu was not in this state in the last build, but even if we accept these issues as normal beta bugs, we need to talk about the online servers. They don't fucking work. Firstly, all of your progress is stored in the Starbreeze Nebula cloud, and not on your local machine. Unfortunately, the Nebula servers were seemingly nowhere up to the task of sorting the records of this. There are widespread reports of people completing heists and not leveling up. The challenges they finish to earn these levels are not displayed because there's no challenge interface, despite it being in the build we played a month ago. The driving force of character progression in Payday 3 does not work in this beta build. For my part, I finished multiple heists and had my account rank remain at level 1, even though my gun progression and skill unlocks were moving ahead. This meant I had 5 unlocked skills that I could equip, but only equip one at a time because I just had the one skill point. The problem with this is that it means no new guns or equipment can be unlocked for use. But even if you did get a progress check to hit the requisite level, it still doesn't unlock. Chucky managed to hit level 9, but the armor bag, which is supposed to unlock at level 2, was still not usable or equippable. That is another core combat mechanic that is not functioning correctly or accessible in this beta. Even if you managed to join somebody's game, we found an issue where you couldn't interact with deployables placed by other players. I joined a pub lobby and was unable to use either a medic bag or ammo bag placed by other players. You may notice I said IF you managed to join somebody's game. That was a big, big IF. As I said, we streamed for two and a half hours. We were only able to get our party together for three heists, each lasting less than 15 minutes. That was a party of three, mind you. We tried for close to 40 minutes to get a group of four in a lobby with no luck. It was just constant errors or disconnects before our fourth person, who kept getting disconnected even after two game verifications, just gave up and left. Progression does not work correctly right now. Lobbies and servers do not work correctly or reliably right now. Performance is not where it has been, nor is it in a healthy position. I know beta builds are not always representative of the final game. Starbreeze has made it abundantly clear that this test is to get the server smoothed out but this is also the first time the general public has got their hands on the game, and it is in a rough state. In the case of our play session, it was practically non-functioning most of the time. I hope this is a wake-up call for Starberries to work on implementing an offline mode with local save and peer-to-peer -peer lobbies, or to delay the game until these things are sorted. I can tell you right now that if this was the build we played instead of the press build we had in June, we would not have given the game the glowing endorsement that we did back then.